Mr. Speaker, the brave men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces don't ask for much. They go where we ask them to go, they follow orders dutifully, and they get the job done. The least we can do is help them protect themselves as they protect us. But this, Mr. Speaker, is a Liberal hat trick. They pull our jets out and leave our troops vulnerable. They allow campaign promises to determine equipment purchases instead of the military experts. And they break their promise for an open and competitive process. Why is the minister putting politics ahead of the safety of our men and women in Ukraine? Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, as a former serving member in combat, I can assure you I would never, our government and myself would never be putting our men and women in vulnerable situations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I remember for Regina Capel. Weeks ago, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry stated that ISIS is, quote, killing Christians because they are Christian, killing Yazidis because they are Yazidi, and killing Shiites because they are Shiite. The Obama administration has clearly and unequivocally labeled the atrocities committed by ISIS against these vulnerable minorities as crimes against humanity which constitute a genocide. Yet the Liberal government has the gall to say that there isn't enough evidence and that further investigation needs to occur. Are there any Liberals who are embarrassed that our Prime Minister is afraid to take a moral position and call the murder of innocents a genocide? Let me be clear about what Vice President uh, Secretary of State uh, Kerry actually said. The Conservatives on, on purpose leave out this paragraph. I want to be clear, says Kerry, I am neither judge nor prosecutor nor jury with respect to the allegations of genocide, crimes against humanity and ethnic cleansing by specific persons. Ultimately, the full facts must be brought to light by an independent investigation. That's what our government is doing and that's why we sent a letter and that's why we've received a response from the Iraqi ambassador thanking us for a strong stand against ISIL.